from what I've read on blogs and such, uh, this is the Too Faced Fall 2015 collection. <laughs> We're already talking about fall collections and we barely hit, we're barely hitting like the 80s <laughs> where I'm at. But anyway, um, I picked up the Too Faced Love palette. I believe it's just called the Love palette. This is what the box looks like. And I did pick up the six blushes as well. Um, I purchased them on HSN. Uh, they had um, on Ebates, there was like a 20 dollar off coupon code. I used that and then too at the time when I had ordered these they weren't available to purchase anywhere else yet but I believe the Too Faced website um, has them as well as HSN right now and then I'm sure Sephora and you know all the distributors of Too Faced will be getting them soon but um, that's where I purchased mine. So let's talk about this palette here. It is what's on my eyes and I did wear it um, the other day as well. I had wanted to film this video yesterday but the electricity went out at like two o'clock in the afternoon right when I was like setting up my little setup here <laughs> and it didn't come on until like nine o'clock in the evening so I was like gonna have to put it off for another day but I did use this palette one other time in addition to um, the demo that I did today which is what's on my eyes and it'll be towards the end of the video for you um, so I was trying to get a better feel for the eyeshadows but anyway let's let's talk about it this is what the box looks like and then the actual palette is very reminiscent of the very the Too Faced very sexy palette that came out um, it's been a couple years now but it's that same type of packaging um, hard plastic nice pretty packaging and then there is a mirror inside of here and then the little cards that Too Faced usually puts in here with the looks on how you can use the palettes to achieve you know what the looks with the shadows that are in there and then the pencil that's in here it's got some special packaging on it but it is just the perfect eyes waterproof eyeliner in perfect black and these liners are okay um, they don't stay on my waterline quite um, as long they kind of migrate in the inner corners and stuff so I typically don't use um, the pencil liners. So here is the inside of the palette. You've got some pretty little heart um, mosaic style type design inside of here. Now the majority of everything in here is shimmery. Um, some of the shades are just like a shimmer and then some of them that are like really ultra shimmery. Um, hopefully you guys can see that when I get up close with the palette but it only contains three matte shades which um, one is a, is a pretty decent highlight shade which is this one right here but but it does have Though, you know how Too Faced likes to do their matte shadows, but there's like some bigger chunks of glitter in there that really don't adhere to the skin? That's kind of how this shade is right here, and it's the only matte highlight type shade in the palette. And then this shade right here is also matte, the only matte transition type of shade in the palette. And then this one down here, this dark, um, it's like a, a blue-brown almost, I think, right there, is also like a matte. It's almost borderline satin, to be honest. So there isn't a lot of matte in here. Everything's pretty shiny. And my look did come out pretty shiny today because I had used the mattes in this palette the previous day, and I wanted to give you guys my best overall opinion of it. But um, I used, uh, I've used a couple of the shimmery shades and Fallout. <laughs> and I typically, you know, I always tap my brush off, but fallout a lot of fallout and a lot of kick up of product especially with like these bigger like this shade right here when I used it like I tapped my brush off quite heavily and I still got some fallout with it but they did go on the eyes really nice they blended really nice and the pigmentation is really nice in addition to the actual shadow colors and are, they're really pretty shades so um, the the messiness of it is something to make note of other than that it's it's a really pretty palette it could use a few more mattes for me I don't mind that shimmer shimmer <laughs> but I know a lot of people do so um, just bear in mind there's one um, matte highlight one matte transition type of shade that's these these two right here and then these bottom shades these darkest shades on the very bottom I used both of these two right here and each time that I use them they both kind of went on um, like black they they didn't really the green iridescence to it and the purple iridescence to it really didn't show up it just kind of they both went on like it looks like I have a black in the crease essentially but this is but in the pan it looks like a navy or not a navy but um like an emerald green with some gold sparkle in it so and then so I'm assuming this one here is even though it's got a tinge of like tinge of like um purpley brownish blue type of a color um, I'm pretty sure that's just going to show up kind of black on me as well. So here's the palette up close. It's got that um, nice hard plastic packaging. It's That's how wide it is. And then here is the back, which I do, you know, appreciate the um, little diagram and stuff in the back. I guess I didn't notice that they had names. <laughs> 
till just now so I just kind of pointed at them when I did the uh, demo part of the video so and then inside of here you've got the mirror and then your little uh, cards right there and then here are the shadows right here hopefully you guys can see I think everything's showing up pretty true um, in the viewfinder so there's your mat it does have like some bigger chunky silver glitters in it not a ton of them but they are in there and then this one here is a matte and then this one here it almost it seems to be a matte this darker color but it kind of has a satin feel to it so otherwise this shade right here super super sparkly this one's super sparkly uh, th this one right here is kind of metallic and then these ones are like some shimmers so let's give you some swatches here of these these are the I think this is the only little situation right here that I didn't use um, in the palette. So there are those. Right there. See how the, sh the colors, I mean, they're really, really gorgeous shades. And they did blend quite nice. I didn't get no patchiness with them and stuff like that, but the um, they're a little messy. So there is that first um, quadrant right there. And then we'll do this middle one. This shade's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of uh, Satin Taupe a little bit by MAC. But there's those guys. See, there's that matte shade right there. And then we'll do this one see there it's those bottom three they just I think the two for sure just showed up the same on me and then we'll do this last quadrant over here which this is the one that I have on my eyes today and I really like how it turned out it's pretty I don't know my camera's like I think it's going in and out of focus a little bit but and then this color right So there's, these are the shades that I have on right now. And again, they performed really well. Just, I mean, the messiness and the, the fallout from some of those shiny shades. So hopefully those swatches were helpful for you guys. Um, I do like the palette. I do like shiny, shiny eyeshadows and stuff. But um, if you're looking for something that's along the lines of like the um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes and stuff like that, um, this probably isn't going to be for you. Uh, it's got a lot of shimmer and a lot of shine. Not, like I said, two mattes sure but one possible I, I kind of want to call this a satin to be honest but um they're really really pretty colors if you're familiar with the Too Faced um I went and grabbed it the Return of Sexy palette um these shades are kind of like that you guys want to see a comparison so here are the two palettes I have to hold them side by side because the mirrors don't go all the way back but um same type of formulation between these two palettes so um if you're familiar with the Return of Sexy you're going to kind of get that same type of situation with the Love palette and the packaging is the same as well on both of them now let's dip into the blushes, which come in super cute packaging. Um, all of the packaging is like this right here. And they're called the Too Faced Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blushes. And I, I did pick up all six shades, but I've only worn two so far. Um, the one that I have on my cheeks today, which these are fairly pigmented and I use kind of a, a fluffy blush or brush for, for it and it blended nice, it had nice pigmentation. It's really a pretty color because um, I was going for that coral green. This is the shade How Deep Is Your Love. And the packaging is color coordinated to the shade that's inside the blush. However, I do feel the blush is just a little bit deeper in color than the actual packaging, but it's still nice to be able to distinguish which blush you're picking up um, with the pack the color of the packaging. So I, I thought that was nice. And then let me get a close up so you guys can see this little cute embossing here. Isn't that the cutest? I've just been using the like the corner of the blush so that I kind of keep the rabbits intact, but this is How Deep Is Your Love right here. This is the one that's on my face right now. I should wipe those off. I'll give you a swatch right there. So really pretty coral pink, that one. So that is How Deep Is Your Love. Um, one, a little bit of a note, it is kind of, I found, I do have large hands, but I did find it was a little difficult to grab onto this nib to open it. It's a little, little tricky to get into because I, I felt myself grab, you know, getting the lid to open it and then my finger would slip and I've almost gouged it with my thumb quite a few times. 
Anyway, just side note. And then the other shade that I wore is called Justify My Love. And this one is a pink and it does have little tiny gold sparkles in it. This is what um, it looks like right here. And here's the inside color. When I used this one, I did notice when I put my brush in there, this one kind of um, crumbled slightly. This one does have uh, more of a gritty texture than the other ones. And this is the only one as well out of the six that have that has got a little bit of uh, like sparkles inside of it. So that's what it looks like right there. I've just been using the corner. It's a really pretty color, but um, just something to bear in mind about that. See, it's a little bit, um, I guess, dr a little bit drier and a little bit more crumbly. And I'm, I'm going to say it's probably because of those glitters. Or not, they're not glitters, they're like little shimmers in there that is doing it, but still really pretty. These next four I have not worn, but I will definitely show and swatch them for you. So this one is I Will Always Love You. Right here. <laughs> they are tricky to, to open. <laughs> and this is the color. This next one is called Baby Love, right here. Your neutral shade. So that one is Baby Love. This next one is called Love Hangover. It's um, it's more of a pink. Uh, I thought it was kind of a pinky coral, but it's it leans more on the pink pink side of things. They're showing up very true in the viewfinder, so. And then the last one is called Your Love is King, and it is the plummy shade out of the bunch. It always makes me happy when I look in the viewfinder and it's showing up very true to color. <laughs> anyway, this is your deeper one. So there are the six blushes right there. Again, super cute on the packaging. I do think the blushes are really cute in the packaging and they're also quite pretty on the cheeks. That pink one that I did use with the sparkles in it was the one that was, you know, kind of drier and a little bit more gritty, but it did look really pretty on, on my cheeks when I used it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to see the demo with um, some of these products, you can hang tight and we will get into it right now. Since I'm going to go with the green shadows in the palette, I decided to do green and coral. And I picked the blush in the shade How Deep Is Your Love, which appears to be the most coral out of the six. And I'm going to use that on a Goss number 14 brush and just dip into this. Cause I, from my first initial impressions, <laughs> these seem to be pretty pigmented, so I'm going to use like a fluffier um, brush. So. I primed with the By Terry Terribly Densilis Concealer in the shade 1 Fresh Fair from the lash line to up underneath the brow. Um, I'm using this one today because it's fairly humid outside and the other one that I use, the RMS, is is quite a bit more emollient. So um, I'm going with that one because it's hot out. And then going into the palette on a Goss number 18 brush, I'm going to dip into this green shade right here, the, the brightest green. And be sure to tap my brush off with this and I'm going to pack this on the center of the lid. Grab a bit more. I'm already getting a fallout. And then on that same Goss 18, I'm going to dip into the shade on top here, just on the side of that brush, and put it kind of on the inner corner of my eye. And then turn it back on its side and um, blend this. On a GSN 9 brush, I'm going to dip into this shade right here, which is a green with some gold uh, sparkles in it and really tap my brush off here <laughs> and go on this outer corner. Pick up a dash more. I'm going to V that upwards.
Right about now, I am really wishing for like a um, vanilla type of uh, matte highlight for underneath the brow, but there just isn't one. <laughs> so we're going to go into the middle heart shade right here on a GSN 7 by um, Chikahoto. And I'm going to put that underneath the brow. And it's not quite as sparkly as some of the shades in there, but it's definitely shimmery. It's kind of a peachy color. Yeah, it's, it's got some shine in it, but it's not as intense as I thought, because some of them other ones are really intense. Got some fallout again here. On a Hakuhodo J5533 brush, I'm going to go into this shade right here. I kind of want, this one's the other, one of the other matte transition type of shades, but I used that one yesterday. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with this one, which is, again, one with some shine in it, but we'll just see how it goes here. It's kind of a taupe shade. I'm going to blend out that crease with this. That's actually, I don't think, see this isn't too much shine for me, but I know it's going to be for some folks. That's really actually quite pretty. For lips, I have got the NARS Velvet Lip Liner in the shade En Soleil, which everything on my face will be listed in the description box down below. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with this and bring it in slightly. And then to fill in the lips, I have got the Too Faced Melted Metal Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Melted Metallic Tutu. I bought four of these quite a while ago and I haven't used any of them, so <laughs> this is the first time I'm using this um, shade, but I wanted to use Coral and Green, so we'll just fill these in. Bit more out of there. I'd heard somebody on here say that they'd had a few of their um, melted lipsticks for a while and they'd separated inside the tube and you couldn't see like through the packaging. And this is the first time I've used this, but it's it's probably been sitting <laughs> in my Dahal pile for like two months. So I don't know if it's separated or not, but I literally put two coats on my lips. It's a really pretty color, but it's not, it doesn't seem to be as opaque. I mean, it's coming out, but I don't, maybe there's some separation. I don't know. It's not, it doesn't feel as opaque to me as some of their other ones, but still a pretty color. So there is the overall finished look using some of the pieces from the Too Faced Fall 2015 collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.